वन सेकेंड वी आर बैक ऑन एक बुन सोच की टी टॉक ट्रेन ऑफ थाट इनफैक्ट ईच एंड एवरी एपिसोड वी ट्राई एंड हैव प्रोमिनेंट पर्सनैलिटी फ्रॉम द कॉपरेट वर्ल्ड सो एट दे कम एंड शेयर देअर एक्सपीरियंस एंड द टारगेट ऑडियंस कैन ड्रॉ एंड मीनिंगफुल लर्निंग आउट ऑफ एट एंड टूडे ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म वी आर हैविंग प्रेरणा लांगर और शी इज अ लीडर इन टू एनी सोशल इम्पैक्ट Uh, ma'am welcome to t talk ek bun soch ki uh, show thank you very much for spending your valuable time and being part of on this show like thank you dr jima in fact it's my pleasure uh, you must mm-hmm. welcome a uh, brief uh, introduction of uh, uh, ms prena langa over a two decades of driving a large scale social impact uh, she had scaled up uh, two corporate uh, csr activities right from her scratch uh, that is yes bank and icici bank Uh, and she had worked with a uh, non-profit uh, organization to accelerate and transform uh, of an Punjab uh, state. Uh, and uh, in fact, as for education, which is concerned, she did her MBA from Mumbai University of an Mumbai. And in 2013, she went ahead uh, with diploma in sustainability from student. That's a Swedish Institute Management. And uh, in 2014, she did her EDP in social impact uh, from Harvard South. and world bank and uh, uh, she is in the board position as a trustee with davra holdings and uh, also on the advisory board of an uh, rain tree foundation what we do like the prominent personalities they come on tea talk they share their experience like you know so that target audience can draw some meaningful learning out of it and uh, i think for the benefit of our target we like to know like you know uh as far as the prerna langa is concerned like for how you have uh, started your journey like you can if you can narrate from education till your first job for target audience like you know, so they get some inspiration and some insights out of it like okay so it's my pleasure to be here and uh, in fact i started my journey uh I, so in school itself Uh, mm-hmm. I have always been a leader so being it the monitor of the class or the prefect mm-hmm. I went on to become the head girl of the school mm-hmm. so I was always uh, in in I always had that uh, inner fire mm-hmm. to you know do my best and to excel in whatever I do Mm-hmm. so uh, so besides academics where i was very focused uh, mm-hmm. on studying and i remember you know i used to study late uh, mm-hmm. at night and my mom used to say you know i don't care you go to sleep don't study but you know i was the opposite where i would say you know i want to study mm-hmm. so i had that inner desire to excel right from my childhood mm-hmm. um i had a very regular uh, middle class uh, upbringing mm-hmm. and in fact uh, i was brought up by my mother So mm-hmm. I lost my father at the age of nine, and mm-hmm. uh, then it's my mother that brought uh, my two sisters and me up. Mm-hmm. So I was lucky to have a role model right from my childhood, mm-hmm. and uh, so she was a micro entrepreneur herself. Okay. So to support the family, you know, at that time she was not working. So mm-hmm. then she started like a beauty parlor. Mm-hmm. and uh, we had a house so we used to keep paying guest mm-hmm. so uh, so learn from her a lot nice yeah yeah yeah, yeah. struggle initially <laughs> like uh, yeah didn't feel like it because mm-hmm. uh, it, it was quite it, it uh, uh, thanks to my mother she like it was very effortless mm-hmm. from her, it seemed very effortless mm-hmm. so was brought up with uh, a strong sense of independence a strong mm-hmm. sense of responsibility mm-hmm. and was brought up with strong values okay. and uh, thanks to her like uh, nothing was impossible mm-hmm. so i lived in uh, you know amboli village andheri Mm-hmm. and uh, i used to go to the school and then when i wanted to go to college i was like you know i want to go to saint xavier's college mm-hmm. which was very aspirational correct uh, and it was like you know so far from where we lived but mm-hmm. my mother always encouraged Mm-hmm. So yeah so like any other uh, person uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do in life to be honest okay, okay. and I never had uh, the direction or I didn't have guidance mm-hmm. but I knew I wanted to excel you want to excel yes so I was clear so of course I went to St Xavier's college and because they said if you're uh, smart you're supposed to take science you take science mm-hmm. uh, but that was not really my calling in terms mm-hmm. of I found my calling um of course little later in life mm-hmm. and then i went on to do my mba i did my mba in marketing i would advise people that please take up a job 
and then do an MBA. Don't do it immediately after college right. because then it gives you a macro perspective and then it also teaches you in the context of which you're going to lead. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so that's my advice uh, to the young people listening to the uh, to this uh, conversation. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So that was a great experience, and from there I joined uh, Budra Communication. Mm-hmm. It, uh, I joined SIS College of Management Studies also. uh that was not among the top colleges mm-hmm. at that time mm-hmm. so it was not see- so easy to get placements in fact correct so so that uh, it was a struggle but uh, okay. you know i was lucky to get into mudra and direct marketing promotions events mm-hmm. and i did learn things the hard way so right from promotions for unilever where this distribution of soaps uh, house to house to correct. events really being on the ground no in fact uh, as you have said like no well being part of your uh, mms you did after some work experience you got into mms for uh, uh, getting into some of the scientific tasks to the business and right. the process which are concerned but still were you clear that, clear that what you want to do in life no yeah. i wasn't <laughs> i wasn't clear i knew i wanted to excel mm-hmm. and i knew i wanted to lead and uh, be the best mm-hmm. but i didn't have any direction Mm-hmm. uh and uh, it uh, it happened as i went along in the journey okay. uh but uh, whatever i did i re- worked really hard and i did give 100% but some blueprint of your career you have made somewhere like this is how I now i have one now you have one right? <laughs> after all the learning experience yes, what you had yes like. yeah 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 okay yeah uh in fact uh, maybe once you were part of an mudra communication like you know mm. uh what was the thing like you gathered from mudra communication and why that uh, into mudra communication why not in different area as such so in fact uh, i didn't really have a choice you know a choice yeah okay. so i got it i took it and mm-hmm. i made the most of it mm-hmm. uh and uh, and in fact that gave me a base of being at the bottom of the rung how mm-hmm. you know what it takes to be at the bottom of the rung correct and it gave me the base that i really need to give my 100% mm-hmm. and work hard to climb up mm-hmm. so that was the starting point yeah um, what we have seen on this tiktok platform presence of an uh, uh, prina langa on, on this particular uh, uh, platform like everyone do have a struggle in their life like at the age of 9 she had lost her father but still a uh, mother like she had inculcated the kind of and values which are there with the two sister and uh, imagine the kind of and responsibilities which are there and uh, the way i think uh, you went had with your qualification like you know at least uh, you did your uh, degree course and then you went into an mms and yeah. then you got into the first job yeah. but always challenging rehta initial stage when like if the base foundation where you find something is missing like you know so that's a huge gap which is there like you know and uh, sometimes you think uh, your future is uncertain aisa kuch mann mein aapke kuch aata tha so in fact to be honest i always uh, be- i believe very strongly in uh, the divine nature mm-hmm. god mm-hmm. so i knew i'm taken care of so okay. i was not worried Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew that you know I'm taken care of yeah. and uh, I am supported I could feel it at every step at of every my step journey okay. uh, so I knew that uh, it's up to me to give 100% Correct. so I didn't really worry okay yeah. so I think uh, uh, more independent at the initial stage she was part of an uh, school like in you know, all the relevant activities which are there a more active like you know yeah. uh, maybe at the initial stage if you're more active in all the extracurricular activities in the school and the college days that gives you a lot of and confidence of finding the things uh, independently so yeah so I always thought uh, that you know I like to take up challenges mm-hmm. so you know I also I come from a mixed background my mother is catholic and my father is himachali okay so uh, so i was brought up with exposure to both mm-hmm. and uh, uh, like i said uh, you know i went to a very catholic school and catholic locality etc mm-hmm. so uh, i my hindi was not great okay. but uh, in spite of that i took part in like hindi elocution okay. and i got the third prize so okay. i was very clear uh, right from my childhood mm-hmm. that uh, i'm open to being challenged mm. and uh, the challenges are good and not to get intimidated right. it's not that it was so easy mm. I, at certain points i did get intimidated but right. i was like no i'll take it up i'll do it so i always went beyond uh, the normal 
ये मंच टिकटॉक का मंच ऐसा है जहाँ पे आके आप किसी को अगर सुनते हो पर्सनैलिटी लाइक नॉर्मली वर ड्रोन फ्रॉम अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस टू एंड टॉप ऑफ एन पिरामिड यू गेट लॉट ऑफ एन इंस्पिरेशन वी हैव सीन हर स्ट्रगल एट द इनिशियल स्टेज एट द स्कूल एंड शी हेज बिकम मोर स्ट्रॉगर नाउ इन फैक्ट एज फॉर द प्रेरणा लंगा इज कंसर्न हाउ शी एड रेज एट द टॉप ऑफ एन पिरामिड हाउ शी एड कंट्रीब्यूटेड टू वर्स ए येस फाउंडेशन वेयर शी वॉज एन सी ओ एंड वन शी वॉज ए वाइस प्रेजेंट ऑफ सी एस आर एंड कम्युनिकेशन विद आई सी आई सी आई इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी ऑफ एंड प्रेरणा लंगा आई थिंक स्टेट यू टू टी टॉक एक्म सोच की टू कैच अप विथ हर इन द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड ऑन टी टॉक एक बुन सोच की ट्रेन ऑफ एंड थॉट्स थैंक यू वेरी मच